celebration tonight, it is only fitting that we introduce Peyton Chambers, senior class president for the class of 2009. Peyton. On behalf of the class of 2009, I would like to welcome our family and friends to celebrate in our graduation ceremony this evening. It is also my distinct pleasure to introduce the teachers who have joined us in our graduation celebration this evening. Faculty members, please stand as I call your names. Mr. Ron Allen. Ms. Tracy Allen. Ms. Casey Arambula. Mr. Mark Blakely. Ms. Jean Bosworth. Mr. Mike Buckler. Mr. Jeff Carter. Mr. Joseph Davis, Ms. Lynn Davis, Ms. Tammy Davis, Mr. Kurt Dickett, Mr. Israel Elder, Ms. Heather Izell, Ms. Lila Fitzgerald, Ms. Sean or Mr. Sean Fowler, Ms. Debbie Fry, Mr. Tim Gatch, Ms. Valerie Geyser, Ms. Tori Grable. <coughs> Ms. Danielle Holmes, Mr. Jacob Kelly, Ms. Clara Lyles, Ms. Kelly Locke, Ms. Stephanie Lyle, Ms. Lynn Leichel, Mr. Bob Langner, Ms. Donna McAndrews, Ms. Rhonda McDaniel, Ms. Amy Miller, Ms. Sarah Neighbor, Ms. Aaron Nash, Ms. or Mr. Robert Nash. Mr. Sean Nash, Ms. Melissa O'Dell, Ms. Tori Punzo, Mr. Rick Reigert, Master Sergeant Jesse Rivera, Mr. Jeff Ciasoco, Ms. Charity Schroeder, Officer Ken Schroeder, Ms. Deborah Sherrard, Ms. Danielle Sylvie, Ms. Andrea Snap, Mr. Steve Snyder, Major Brian Stackhouse, Mr. Matt Tabor, Ms. Virginia Taliaferro, and Ms. Amber Welter, as well as Ms. Nancy Nelson, Mr. Robert Bradshaw, Mr. Lori, or Ms. Lori Zillner, and Ms. Tracy Johnson. I would also like all former elementary or middle school teachers in the audience who have taught any one of us and helped us get here today, would you also please stand? And don't lie because I know some of you are out there. class of 2009, we thank you. The warm western winds of Donovan County floated over the Missouri River heading east. The balmy May breeze blew over Wyeth Hill skipped across the rooftops of downtown St. Joseph and flowed smoothly through the windows of Central High School. Family, friends, faculty, and fellow students sat side by side that day to celebrate the commencement of their soon-to-be Indian alumni. Amongst the crowd, however, were two individuals from the nearby settlement of Skeeterville that had no business being in such a dangerous place. The two students were not members of the Central Student Body, nor were they guests. They were in fact graduates of the Red School to the South, their own school too young and with no accreditation to recognize them as graduates. The year was 1910, and the first two graduates of Benton High School graduated on enemy territory. Ninety-nine years have passed since that day in 1910, and those two graduates have grown to over 200. Here in a very short time, 
the class of 2009 will become the 99th class to graduate from this institution. Now the number 99 is a very interesting number. It is a palindromic number. It's the sum of the divisors of the first 11 positive integers. And yes, Ms. Fitzgerald, that actually means that I looked up something math-related outside of class for fun. <laughs> this number, though insignificant, reflects our class's identity, where we have been, what were people's impression of our class along this journey, and where we are going. So I ask you, class of 2009, where have we been? What were people's impression of our class? And where are we going? Thirteen years have passed since we first walked through the halls of Hyde, Lake, Hosea, and other elementaries. During our early years, our teachers began to realize that they were dealing with no ordinary class. We were called different in a way that no teacher understood unless we graced their classroom doors. As most of you know, word travels fast through the South End. And before long, word came to Benton High School that a class like no other was about ready to walk through its front doors. In the past four years, you have got to know and grow closer to your teachers and faculty than any other time in your 13 years of education. After asking them, what do you think of the class of 2009? Their answers prove why this class is so unique. You are a well-rounded class. Some of the most well-rounded students I have ever met successful in the areas of academics, the arts, and athletics belong to the class of 2009. You are a very studious class that cares about your future and your level of success out in the real world. You are a hard-working class that knows what it wants and will stop at nothing to get it. Some of my most enjoyable moments have been with this group of kids, and I have many fond memories of you all. You have got to be one of the strangest classes I have ever taught. <laughs> you are one of the very few classes around this place that knows how to have a good time. I do not view your class as a group of students. I view you more as a group of my friends. So what will become of us, class of 2009? What will we do? Where will we end up? Some will travel to faraway places for further education or just to get away from it all and see the world. Others will stay in the community we have called home for the past 18 years and live out their lives as Northwest Missourians. Some of our classmates we will never see again after this day, and others may in fact become our next door neighbors. We will become doctors, lawyers, teachers, architects, bricklayers, electricians, secretaries, nurses, and finally alumni. My final thought this evening comes from the wisdom of a teacher that has become almost a second grandmother to me, one that many of us have grown to know and to love, and to who I have the pleasure of sharing the stage with this evening. She gave our history class a little bit of advice about driving once, something she used to tell her children. I feel that it really applies more to the road of life ahead for us all, and it went something like this. Watch out for the other guy. Remember, there are more lives in your car than yours. Don't drive through standing water. Watch out for the other guy. Congratulations, 99th class of Benton High School. A class like ours is rare. One that only comes around once in 100 years. Thank you. Pleasure to introduce Student Council President, Mr. Scott Hedden. Good evening. First off, I would like to congratulate all of you fellow grads for all, the, all of the, that you have accomplished over the last four years. It's truly been an honor to grow and experience life in high school with all of you. As most of you know, our senior class song is about love. The question it asks, what is love? And I find myself wondering the same thing. According to the song, love is knowing what is right and what is wrong. It is that time in our life, our time, when we are together, needing each other forever. 
In my opinion, love is what we interpret it to be. For some, it is always having your friends by your side, having your back at all times. For others, love is taking the time to be an active member of their community, to serve their country, or to educate our youth. It might be the care and dedication you have for your family, your passion for your sport, or your desire for your career. Love may even be your quest for happiness from this point forward as you begin the long journey of life. Whatever love is to you, I hope you all find it. It might not be an easy task to do all the time, but no matter how hard it is, it's well worth it in the end.